Hey everybody. I hope you're doing well. I am going to do another pour today just like I finished up on the last one. So there's going to be two that look alike or I'm assuming kind of similar because I've got the same colors mixed up. I've just made up a little bit more white paint so it's kind of ready to roll and I, uh, I was just loving what the last one looked like so much it's like I've got to try this and see if I can do another one very similar because I loved it so much. The only thing is I'm not going to be able to remember exactly what order I put my paints in and my cut, but that's okay because I'll be using pretty much the same colors anyway. So as long as it's in the same family, we should be good on the overall look. But I'm going to use my dustpan, which is what I used the last time, so that it has kind of a similar effect and I'm hoping it'll just be as lovely as the last one was. So I'm just making sure I have some white down. It doesn't have to be even because I'm going to be pouring some paint across the canvas anyway. So I've got a little five and a half ounce cup. I'm going to start with a little white. blue, turquoise, I think I did gold, violet, and well that was rouge and this was the prism violet, and I'm pouring a little bit more white. Flip it over in my little dustpan. There'll be more than enough paint, just like last time. This paint has no silicone or OGX in it, so it's just straight paint mixed about one part paint to two to three parts of Floetrol except for the turquoise has about four parts Floetrol because I use the thick body acrylic by uh, Master's Touch. I also use Rouge and Thalocyanine Blue, Liquitex Basics Prism Violet, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, and then my white had a mixture of the Satin Enamel and mistakenly chalk paint, which I thought I had milk paint, and I did put some Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic into it to make more white paint. And so I just had to do another pour with this lovely color combination. It just is just too gorgeous. So this, this is kind of inspired by Heather Mater and Elise Fournier. 
kind of between their two styles and using a little balloon roll just to give, give it a little bit more oomph in some areas. So I'm just making sure that I've got plenty of white on my surface of my canvas. Just like the other one, I'm loving this one. I just love these colors together. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. All right. This one is doing a little bit better on the white not breaking apart <clears throat> through the color. I had that happen on the last one a little bit on the edges, so I think because I added some of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic to it, it's doing a little bit better on that, so that's a good thing. My, some of my favorites with this color combination. Totally favorite. The one metallic just takes it over the edge as far as the beauty of it. I just want to keep doing canvases just like this. They're so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos. Check out all the links below the video where it says show more on your laptop or the down arrow on your mobile device. All kinds of cool links down there to click on for information, products, to help support me if you want to help towards uh, art supplies and my tutorials that I've started. So check them all out and I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a really awesome day and I can't wait to paint the next one for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.